And welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood. And I told you all that we were going to have some fun guests on today. And we had the people from the Philippines. And that was absolutely awesome. And so this section, and I told you all we were going to garden in January. And we are. This is Kim Frady from the UT Extension Office here in Bradley County. And Johnny Arnett, who is a master gardener. She mm -hmm. has on a shirt that declares that she <laughs> is a master gardener. And Johnny and I went to high school together. We're just, we reminisced yeah. a little bit. We're not going to tell you all no. what we reminisced about. But anyway, we did reminisce. We were both in the band together at McMinn County High School, which is what makes it kind of hard for me to cheer for Bradley. I do, since I'm on I the school board now. Bears. Did you raise Bradley mm -hmm. Bears? Good girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, they're here today to talk about the Master Gardening Program that the UT Extension Office does. And I've told Kim this before, and I'm going to tell it again on national TV. The UT Extension Office here is the best kept secret in Bradley County because you all do so many things. And I had, Kay Smith used to come on with me a lot, yeah. and I was telling you the other day, I took a class on who gets grandma's pie plate right. or something like that that right. you all offered really great class of how you decide upon your death who gets the memorable or worthwhile things in the home Absolutely. and that was offered from UT Extension mm -hmm. so it, it's just y'all do a lot over there right with a very few people with with not very many now Kay has retired I and, know she and has Justin Thomas is our new Family and Consumer Sciences agent. And I need to get Justin on you one day so everybody Justin. can meet him because he does not need to be a well-kept secret either. Right. Very, very nice fellow. Yes. And he's one of the very few men that we have doing family and consumer sciences across the state. Most are, most are female right. agents, but he's, he's male. And the, the home demonstration women just love him. Oh, I bet. Is he a cute little thing? Oh, that yeah. everybody just Okay, yeah. he's good. married and you've got a family. He's oh, a sweet oh, guy. well, <laughs> okay. But we'll get him on anyway, yeah. okay? Now, Johnny is a master gardener, mm -hmm. and that is not just something you raise your hand and say, I want to be. You have to work to do that. So you all are going to start January the 19th. Right. All right, tell me what we're going to do. We have a 15-week course. It's either 15 or 16, depends on our speakers, but right now we're planning on 15. Hopefully we will be 16. And we have we start out with botany, and move on to soils. Botany. It's a little bit harder for some people, but you just have to think, okay, I have to have this because you've got to have your basics. But then we get to get in the fun things like perennials, annuals, and my favorite natives. Oh, and good. Okay. So, um, I do the talk on native plants, <clears throat> and um, so uh, but we have wildlife, we have trees, shrubs. I love uh, oak leaf hydrangeas, and so yes. I learned. I bought a book, taught myself how to propagate oak leaf hydrangeas. So uh, we at our house right now we have a hundred oak leaf hydrangeas oh, in pots. Oh, okay. so, but uh, it was fun this winter, this summer, mm -hmm. trying to keep them alive. But my sweet husband just went up there every day and put up the sprinkler and watered them. But but you know, and it's the, what's neat about the master gardener class is. It's not just the classes. We get to know these people, and mm -hmm. we 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 all take in plants. Like one lady last year brought in uh, the little Shasta daisies, and I usually take Black Eyed Susans or whatever, and we just kind of get to know each other. And you know, some people they love vegetable gardens. Other people like um, container gardening, but we have something for everyone. And that's what is really wonderful, I think, and the fact that. Once you get certified as a master gardener, mm -hmm. then that's really an accomplishment. Yes, we do. Once you become, mm -hmm. once you take the forty-hour the class, forty hours, folks. Okay. Uh, then we give back an hour to the community uh, in different volunteer uh, capacities. Our group has a program ongoing with the Bradley uh, Justice Center, the, the Juvenile Justice Center, and I've been working in that for a few semesters. We just finished one up in. November, mm -hmm. November, so. graduation, and we have graduation. We'll start another one up a little bit later in the spring. So these classes are held at the Extension they, Office Building. They are in our upstairs auditorium, <clears throat> and we, depending on what night we can get speakers. Looks like this year's we're going to be on Thursday mm -hmm. nights. That's Thursday what, nights. That's what we're going to try okay. to shoot for. Now let me get just ask this, and then we're going to go on and talk about what all you do. But is there a fee? To this. Yes, they are. Okay. You get a handbook that is a 
wealth of knowledge and, and we'll use it in class some, but it's it's basically just reference material. Research. That, yeah. that you can go through and look look at. Take and home and double absolutely. check some things. Absolutely, it's gotcha. yours. And then there's a, we'll, we'll do another notebook with just handouts that from the class and things that the speakers have that they want to distribute and we do a separate notebook for that and then we'll have refreshments and other things that we do so that the the fee for the whole thing is a hundred and fifty dollars okay. and then if a husband and wife wants to come then if they share a manual handbook then it's only 75 for the second person that need that 25 to. total right. neat neat that right. is so neat and and what I love like I say I took that who gets grandma's pie plate or right. whatever it was, and it was really, really good. But all the information that you all gave for that, there was a book mm -hmm. with places that we could fill out what needed to be mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. where, and so I'm sure. assuming this is kind of what you all do with this Master Gardener. Yes. Now, people are looking at me on the TV right now saying, January the 19th, the ground's still frozen, what are we talking about? So we're not actually going to go out and dig in the ground the first no. month no. or so. Okay. That's kind of the reason we start out with the with the basic courses to kind of lead up to the to the annuals and the perennials mm -hmm. and the vegetables and the fruit and all the other things that that we do. The botany and soils we try to do first because those are the basics. You need soil to grow things in, and you need to know how plants grow. Mm -hmm. And so that's the that's the two basic things that we do. Then as we get later on in the season, uh, we get up into April and we start talking about insects and diseases and other things that we'll be seeing in May and June and July. And, you know, The only thing we've not figured out how to do yet is do a class on how to cope with drought. That was our biggest sure. thing this past summer. And, was it and that? It, it was really... It was really hard. Folks that had the ability to water their gardens and things, they, they did good, but boy, some of us didn't have the capacity to do that. And it was. And some of us that are on a well don't want to push their luck. Absolutely. They really don't because you just don't know in a drought season what's going to happen on your well. Right. Now, roughly how many people do you all have in a class? Last year we had 19 and two dropped, so we had 17 last year, but we had a small room last year. We have had up to thirty-five. Oh, okay. That's I was so, just going to say. Is yes. there a limit to what no, we can we, do? we could go forty, you know. Um, but we are filling up fast, so you know, if if, if, if they're interested, just call Kim, uh, Jan, Kim or Janet at the the number. I've got it right here. Uh, seven two eight seven zero zero one. That's correct. Seven two eight seven zero zero one. If any of you are interested. I've also got Johnny's phone number. You want to give that? Sure. 715-9283. 715-9283. If you're interested in this master gardening, and we were just talking about people being retired and needing something to mm -hmm. do, so if that's if the, if the if the shoe fits on that, then just go ahead and sign up for this. But you know, we have a lot of young. We had a mm -hmm. we have a lot of younger people take it too, uh, and we have. Oddly, well, not, probably not oddly, but a lot of people move in from different states. Like mm -hmm. we have one guy from Colorado. We've got have a lot of people from Michigan, and it's different gardening here. Yes, it is. We're uh, in a different zone. Well, we're a different zone, and we have this stuff called red clay. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, and <laughs> you know, when you think when you're used to gardening and you've got nice black loamy soil to play with, and then you're you're you know digging here and you're thinking. Why won't my shovel go in the ground? <laughs> so, you know, we're reaching out to some newcomers, and you know, because That's this great. is a great opportunity. You know, because if you're coming here from another area, and you need to know how to garden in our beautiful red Tennessee clay. Absolutely. You know, we can help you. Absolutely. And that's what's so awesome about the UT Extension Group, because this isn't the only thing you all do. And Grandma's oh, Pie right. Plate wasn't the only thing you all do. Right. Because I've, I've talked with Kay Smith before, and and you all offer all kinds of things. We are actually a part of the Institute of Agriculture at the okay. University of Tennessee. And there's four phases of the Institute of Agriculture. There's the teaching college where you can go and get your degree in agriculture mm -hmm. or related fields. There's the veterinary vet college, mm -hmm. the experiment station that does all the trials on new varieties and things. And then we're the fourth, we're extension. And our job is to take this research-based information 
and get it to the to the public. And do you all are you all the ones that sponsor the 4-H clubs yes. and things like that? Yes. And, okay. and in extension, we've got four areas. Okay. We've got agriculture, family and consumer sciences, community economic development, and 4-H. Okay. And so all of those areas, and we have professional staff involved in each of those areas, and we have some program assistants that that help with 4-H also. And I'll bet you, if I ask those folks that are watching us right there what they could tell me about UT Extension, it would probably be 4-H. Absolutely. That, that is your way into the community. That's, yes. your, that's your PR, is right there with 4-H. And then other than that, you all are just a tremendously well-kept secret. I've just been amazed at what you all well, offer there that people don't know. We try to, we try to do some marketing plans and, and get our name out and, and Master Gardener is one of the things that really help us with that because they they will go to events and activities and put up a booth and you know that way folks know they see Master Gardener but they also see UT, UT Extension. Extension right and and, that's, and that's that is good because I know I've had a couple of friends uh, that have gone through the Master Gardener mm -hmm. class and they have loved it and and it's something I would love to do but we'd love to have you Nancy absolutely. time time mm -hmm. is you know. Yeah. That that's a problem, but I have an area out out beside my driveway that I would love to have, what I call an English garden, mm -hmm. and just I wouldn't care whether it's wildflowers or whether I planted them and there was a system mm -hmm. to it or whatnot, but I have not a clue what I need oh, to we do. Can help you. See, there you go, and and so I could take this class and I could figure out what to do in the red clay you that can. is sitting there and and fix it up so it would look really really nice. Now, other than the master gardening class, what do you have anything else on the agenda for the next month or ten? Not really going on mm -hmm. this now. We in in the fall of the year we will do the we have an advanced master beef program, and that's for the beef producers in agriculture, and that's where they'll come in and and we'll go through eight different topics with them as far as nutrition and reproduction and forages and pastures and that sort of thing but uh, it, it's normally done in the fall of the year and then we do Master Gardener in the spring and by the time we get through it'll be May when, when we graduate with, with this so it goes a long ways through. Okay, so it's going to be on probably Thursday night mm -hmm. right. starting January the 19th and One, I told you all earlier this is it, it's here. The 19th is here it almost. Is. One I mean, night per week. One right. night per week. Yep. And it usually lasts for how long? Six to nine. With Six three hours. to nine. Okay. And we eat. You know, we're Southern. We have to eat. Of course you do. You know. there's, there's no reason to have a meeting in yeah. the South if you don't have food. So. Absolutely. Church or any other kind of meeting mm -hmm. you have, you have to have food. That's exactly right. So, what got you interested in this, Johnny? Living in Athens, my mother loved a garden. My aunt loved a garden. I've always liked to, to just grow things. And Ron actually signed me up for the Master Gardener <laughs> class with Kim at Rotary mm -hmm. in 2001. But we didn't have an organization until 2012. Oh, wow. Okay. And so I bugged him for a while. And, uh, but he called me and says, your, your wish has come true. We have a Master Gardener, some Master Gardeners that are wanting to get an organization together. So I became a part of that um, immediately because that's, I didn't want to have to go to Chattanooga. We should not have right. to go to Chattanooga. I agree. For and anything. So, and amazingly, we're getting a lot of people from McMahon, Pope McMahon, um, coming to our Master Gardener. We have one from Athens this past time, one from Etowah, and one from Riceville. Wow. So we're, we're pulling them in from surrounding, because Pope McMahon and Megs doesn't have a, a class. Okay, so, so do they fall in under your UT Extension office here, those counties? What counties do you have? Just Bradley. You have just, just Bradley. Bradley. They'll be, so every county is supposed to have a UT Extension office? Yes, they do. Okay. All right. Not a, necessarily a, a Master Gardener understand. class. Right. 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 Well, we understand have an that. Extension office in, in every county of the state, even Lake County up in the very upper corner, they have an extension wow. office there too. Okay. How many did you say we had in organizations? Around 40. 40. Yeah. Master Master Gardner. Gardner. That's wonderful. All mm -hmm. right, let's give them, it. we're about to wind down here, folks. So let's give them the phone numbers again. They can call the extension office. 728-7001. Okay. And, and my cell is 715-9283. And you need to call and get signed up. The first meeting is January, January the, 19th the 19th at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. On Thursday at the extension office, which is 
95 Church Street. Yeah, 95 Church Street, Southeast. And, and Johnny's our Master Gardener President, so she can tell you about all the volunteer opportunities that we have to do things with, and everybody is always kind of worried about giving back those volunteer hours, but there's a lot of opportunities that it's we have. It's 40 hours, to, and it's not hard to do. Cleveland Brady County can always find places for people to volunteer. Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. And always, as far as I'm concerned, the, the flowers and the shrubs make a make a building, a mm -hmm. facility or something, so always you can do something like that. Sure. And hopefully after today, you're not the best kept secret in Bradley County. Well, I, let's hope we're not. And I, I hope y'all have 40 people sign up for we this, and I just wish I had the TIME to do it. Thank you all so much well, for being you, on Nancy. with me today. Thank Folks, you for having it's us. it's good to be back with you after our little sabbatical we took off to get through the holidays, so we'll be back again and at the next episode of Nancy's Neighborhood. Bye-bye now.